let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. Yes, uh, you know, Massachusetts is, uh, is a team I'm very familiar with. My son Brandon played there, and um, of course it's a school that Coach Reed coached at for a long time. Um, very, very good team, very, very physical team. Um, they, uh, they do a great, Kevin, Coach Kevin has done a great job up there. And uh, it, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a good game because they, they, they lead the, the conference in total offense right now. They got a junior college quarterback that, in Havens that, that can deliver the ball to a player like, uh, Wide receiver uh, like Victor Cruz, who does an outstanding job. Matter of fact, he leads the conference in receptions. Um, Tony Nelson is, I believe, between uh, behind, slightly behind Justin, uh, our guy Justin Forte, in terms of uh, rushing. So they uh, they they will they will try to run the ball and with power and authority. Uh, we'll have to do a good job up front. Um, they also can throw the ball. Um, so it'll be it'll be an exciting game, a physical game, I'm sure. Once again. All right, thank you. Take the questions, Coach London, you were a second half team last week, but in essence, you've been a second half team since you got here. And the team before you got here was really a second half team, too. Um, why? Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, and I don't know, second half, maybe, I guess the numbers and the statistics speak for it. I do know in the first quarter that, uh, you know, defensively, Parker Miles made a great play, tipping the ball, making it get an interception, and setting up a score. Force, so I, I think that um, a lot of times, and not uh, you know, we're on defense first, and uh, and I, I think our defense has done a pretty good job this year, and in and, uh, and kind of setting the setting the tone there. So you know, you'd hope offensively that that you know we can kind of match that kind of intensity, but um, I, I think we we're an experienced team that we can adjust well. I think the players adjust well. The coaches do a good job of adjusting. And and we'd like to start fast. We started fast. James Madison, we first played a game, you know, through a, through a long bomb to Kevin Grayson. So we'd like to do more of that and kind of manufacture some, um, you know, from some energy and everything. Hey, there was a questions in preseason, obviously, as there are everywhere. And one of them was about your new defensive coordinator, how he could uh, maintain what was going on in terms of last year with Russ Huseman leaving to go to Chattanooga. How do you think that aspect of it has, has done for you? And how much hands-on uh, do you, a former defensive coach, uh, have to do with the defense here? Well, you know, it's, uh, you know, Vic, when he came in, was under no, uh, you know, he, he understood that we, we were pretty good last year. And it wasn't trying to come in and, and, and fix things. Uh, I think... The rest of the defensive coaches, uh, Coach Hanson and Coach Brown and Coach Legg, because of the the knowledge, the knowledge of last year's defense and, and and what we can do, what we did well, you know, what whatever Vic brought in as far as coverages and things like that, um, you know, we just kind of fused the two together, and it's it's kind of been a, a working relationship where it's not like you know the coordinator and then everybody else. It's it's been a it's been a collaborative effort. And, and relying on you know the other coaches to to give their input because they do know the things that worked for us last year and and things like that and you know and being a defensive guy myself I mean there, there are certain things that we talk about you know every uh, every Monday certain things that, uh, that that are in the practice schedules that I like to see to be reflected in a game plan and I think that uh, Vic has done a good job of kind of uh, you know. Providing that opportunity the way I like to see things and working well with the staff and and so it's 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 worked out you know pr pretty well. I mean I have a great great group of coaches. They're outstanding coaches and and very proud of their accomplishments as well as the players. Thank you. Thank you. How much different is UMass from last year? Um, or and I heard you I heard you say this morning that. They're probably the best team that you have faced yet this year in your schedule. Does that have a lot to do with their balance on both sides of the ball? I, I think so. Um, when you look at them, again, offensively, you know their quarterback, Havens, is doing, a, doing an excellent job for them. Um, their offensive line 
you know, I thought Maine was big. They, you know, now they'll be the biggest group that we played against. Uh, they've got uh, you know, an All-American tackle, um, you know, very, a lot of size up front. And then they're running backs. I mean, I know uh, Tony Nelson, uh, you know, has been out the last two games. But it, it seems like uh, everyone gets healthy and ready to play when we, they play us, which is, you know, which is all right. Um, the backup Hernandez did a great job. Uh, you know, touch the, the winning touchdown run. So I think it's an, ex, it is, it's an experienced team that, um, you know, Coach White has been there. He's on the offense for a while. So, you know, they lost their core, quarterback, Leon Cohen, but they got this junior college quarterback that just fits right into what they're doing defensively. Senior front four. Um, uh, they have a, a, a consensus All-American, free safety. Their linebackers are quick. They're, they're fast. I mean, they're, they're really fast. So when you just look at it, from top to bottom, you know, Lane, you look at a, a very complete team. The kicking game is solid, punter, place kicker, all those things. So it's Chicago Bears we're playing. It sounds like you just described your team. Their coach could say the same thing about you. I mean, how much are you guys going to be looking in a mirror? And in games where that can be the case, does it make it easier or tougher to prepare for? No. Well, you know, it's – it's. Uh, it makes it when you prepare for it that you know that the execution for this particular game is going to be critical, as is the field position. I think field position, once again, you know, it's always important. But when you have two teams that are that are, that are pretty good offensively, you have a uh, two teams that are you know pretty good defensively because of their speed, and then you know what how we play, then you got to look to special teams or something there providing a spark for you, and. Um, and, and that's what's going to have to happen, you know, in order for us to win. We we will have to play our best football game to date. Hey, Mike. In many respects, the game at UMass last year was the start of this ride. What happened there, or was it just carryover from JMU the week before? It just seemed like that game really, really solidified you guys as playoff bound and, and maybe farther. Well, th that was a it was a, it was a game in that. Uh, we knew going in again it was going to have to be played very physical and and that was because we respect UMass that, you know so much that they have been noted to being a physical team for a while and we felt that if we could go in there and play them physical at their place and uh you know establish a running game you know establish uh an opportunity to uh, to make make plays and then uh, we'll, we'll feel pretty good about ourselves so that that was that was a signature game, and, and now here we are again. We're back in a situation where, you know, the team that plays the most physical is, is probably going to have the best opportunity to win.